Hey guys, your inner chakras. Welcome back to the channel, guys. If you are new, you are welcome. Guys, let's do some digging, some spiritual digging, right? Like we know we in love, we in love, we're in hate, they're cheating, all of that stuff. So let's just get a little more spiritual. Let's just dig a little bit. Holy Spirit, right? Sometimes you gotta know what's going on with you. You have love. Love is here. Divine source is the idea that no person, place, or thing is your salvation. Only love itself. So, you can't put your all of everything into a person. Is basically what Spirit is saying. You can't put your all into a person like, oh, I just love this person and without him I'm nothing. Or without her I'm nothing. Or without them I'm nothing. That's not it. No place in, no person, place, or thing is your salvation. Only love itself. So as long as you have love inside of you, you're good, right? So don't give that energy to someone else. Like say you're loving someone and y'all was together for so long and then you break up, they break up with you or whatever happens and you just feel like you placed your all into that person. No, you don't put your all into that person, right? You love them. But you need to tap into divine source, right? That no person, place, or thing is your salvation. So if you're waiting on that relationship, they can't fix it. They can't save you. That's eternal. You, you, oh, you have to self-love for sure. Yep. Holy Spirit for the collective. Solutions. <clears throat> Success comes from being objective, guys, and compromise. Self-control and patience, forgiving and healing energy. So I don't know if you've been hurt by someone that you felt you just love so much that you can't get past it. But you need this self-control and you also need patience. And you also need to forgive this person for what they did. Alright. And that person was not your everything. They're not your everything, right? Holy Spirit. Forgiving, guys, so you can heal your energy. It looks like you moved on. You didn't want it, but you're going back to it. You're going back to it, right? It's like you really want this to work. It's like you're trying to put your energy back into it, but this the Ten of Cups is in reverse. The Ten of Cups is in reverse. It's almost like you're putting too much into a person, a place or a thing. It could be a person that you love too much, a job that you love too much, a place that you go to, whatever, too much, right? The idea of love is too much. And divine wants you to know that there is no person, place, or thing that will be your salvation. Now, your person here that ended things with you, they're moving on. They're in their light of swords energy. Yeah, they ended it. Two of cups in reverse. But I think you're stuck here. You want this to happen. But this person isn't your salvation, right? They're not your salvation. They're not. What you need is balance. You need to find balance outside of this person because you was hoping for it to work, but it's not. It's the two of wands in reverse. It's not going to work. So if you was putting your all into this person, spirit said you have to let it go. So what are some of your karmic tendencies, right? Holy Spirit. Wow. All right, we got two, yeah. Da you daydream about this person, guys, too often. You worry about them. You think about them too much. You probably pick up your phone 15 times a day to see if they text you. You probably scroll back to reread texts. You read an email. You're on their pages. It's like you daydream about this person too much. This is the ending. Connection is so strong, but you feel like you're meant to be, although it's over. So the connection that you once had with this person, it was very strong. It was a ten of cups, right? 
But now it's the Ten of Cups in reverse. So you have to let this go. This isn't your end all and be all, right? And this isn't your salvation. This person isn't your salvation. So you need some closure. And I'm going to give you some. Holy Spirit, for the collective, you need closure. I need time to heal my wounds. You do. You need time to heal your wounds because you gave this person more than you gave yourself. Right? And this person is not your salvation. No person, place, or thing is your salvation. You accept that they are no longer a part. You need to accept that they are no longer a part of your life. You let them go. It's as simple as that. All right, guys. Ooh, that's pretty deep. You know what? Why are you having a hard time letting go? Holy Spirit for the collective that's having a hard time letting go. Spirit, why are they having a hard time letting go? Because you need to heal your wounds. You need to get past this. And it's a sound bowl on this photo. Maybe you should get a sound bowl. This is a sound bowl. This is a chakra bowl. There's seven different ones, right? But they have sound bowls too. They're white. They're big. They're all different sizes. Just go onto Amazon, type in sound bowls, type in chakra bowls, type in healing bowls, type in bowls. And they will pop up. And you can get different ones, right? Holy Spirit, why are you having a hard time letting go? For the collective. Hmm. Conflict. Because I think this person probably put you in competition with someone else. And I think sometimes you just want to win at all costs. Without even realizing that you already won. If they put you in conflict with someone else, you already won, right? Because you didn't sign up for that. So it's their loss. You do have some regrets. You do have some regrets. Because to you, in your mind, this was your emotional fulfillment. This was your happy place. Holy Spirit. Yeah, but it ended. Three cups in reverse. And now you feel like there's no reason to celebrate. You're not happy. You're probably not talking to your friends. You're not calling. This person is not your end all be all, guys. Yeah. This person just brought you burdens, tons of burdens, and you're in regret still because you're not following your intuition. It's like you know better. There could be a new love offer coming in, but you should not accept a new love offer until you release that energy there, you know? But in your new world, there's a new love offer waiting for you. From someone there's a new love offer waiting for you but you have to release this you gotta release it all right guys thanks for watching please like share and subscribe peace